No indoor dining, smaller staff cutbacks, and now targets for robbery. A restaurant owner says it is just too much and tells our Tara Molina they are not alone. They're a neighborhood bar and restaurant that can't serve the neighborhood like they used to. The owner says the man who robbed them took advantage of that. Now she's speaking out to warn others. It's heartbreaking and infuriating and so just mentally tasking. I just one more thing that we have to put up with. One more thing when just staying in business has been hard enough. Jody AG is talking about the robbery at the Jefferson Tap and Grill this week. Definitely knew what he was doing, so we were cased. It happened in the middle of the day. The man behind it caught on their surveillance cameras. Then he walks over, he tries to get into the office, which thankfully is locked. You can see him enter a back room here, rummaging through all the bags he can before leaving through the emergency exit taking off with staff members wallets. It's it's freaking my staff out. You know, we're, we're just already so thinly staffed. Jody got emotional before. sitting down I mean, with us because this on top of everything else, you know, it's just like we're all kind of reaching out of our ropes. Calling the past few months rough doesn't even begin to cover it with business cut in half payroll at a bare minimum and just to do more harm to good people. It's disgusting to me. They're not alone. The day after they were robbed, two men hit half sour on Printer's Row, where according to CPD, a man was threatened with a gun in an alley outside before he was robbed. Jody hopes speaking out helps others. It feels like it can't get much worse. And then to have predators out there, you know, just waiting to take advantage of an already bad situation. The president of the Illinois Restaurant Association is speaking out about this. He calls this a crime against vulnerable businesses and says it's disturbing. They're tracking these investigations. Reporting in the Fulton River District, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.